Hello, friends. Hello, hello. Welcome to my channel. My name is Anna. I am a teacher of Russian language and travel expert in Russia. In this vlog, guys, we continue explore Moscow and we are going to visit Ta -da! Gorky Park. Welcome to Gorky Park. Behind of me there is the main gate. We will start our trip and journey in Gorky Park from this place. Then uh, here you can see restaurant. This way it's a metro station uh, Park Kultury. Then uh, this one is a museum. So Gorky Park has this place, main uh, park. Gorky Park also it's including museum, it's second. Third, it's a Niskuchny Sad, and fourth is Varabyovy Gore, Sparrow Hill. So this four is cover Gorky Park, and today I will show you first part, it's the main Gorky Park. Let's go with me. Welcome to the museum, history of Gorky Park. In this museum you can see history of Gorky Park first 10 years. How it was established, main people who organized it, the director of this and so on. So till 1923 on this place, on Gorky Park, it was the rubbish, garbage, uh, some button. And uh, then uh, people uh, removed it and decided to organize uh, this park. And in 1928, the park was ready. So, and first, what I want to show you, this is the winter activities. So you can see here how Soviet Union time people spent time in winter. For example, uh, you can see ice rink, some other, this one, it's kanki uh, in Russian language, ice skates. And very interesting that here, first time it was dancing, on the ice area. Very interesting. So you can see it's 90-31 year. Uh, so how people spend time. So let's go next. So now summer season. There are activities for summer. You can see ping pong, dancing, uh, football, a lot of a lot of sport activities. So the idea of park was culture and leisure. That's why the name of the park Kultury i oddycha. So idea of this park that people should not only have rest, enjoy, do nothing, but also they should get any knowledge, develop their brain, their soul and so on. So this is activities uh, in the 1931 time. So I suggest you, if you go to this park, you can watch by your eyes and to see this. Let's go next. Here you can read uh, in Russian and of course uh, in English. Here you can read short biography of main people, uh, people who did influence to this park. Like first one, you can see Gerbert Wells. I already said you about him. Do you remember? He said to the director of this park, congratulations. Yes, you are the director of factory of happy people. And uh, very important, look at this guy, Maxim Gorky. And uh, now I can tell you why the name of this park, Gorky Park. Because of this guy, Maxim Gorky, he was the general uh, and the very important poet in that time because he supported revolution, he supported workers. That's why the name of this park belongs to his name like uh, ideology of um, Soviet Union time, also he supported this and uh, we have this name. Next guy, uh, Vladimir Mayakovsky. Vladimir Mayakovsky also very, I suggest you, if you know Russian, okay, you, you can read his uh, poems in Russian. If no, you can read translation in English. There are a lot of translation, very also important uh, person for this park, uh, he was writing also poems. So what people also did uh, in this park, you can see this is parachute tower model who like skydiving uh, could try it, but it was not so high, uh, it was just 30 meters, but good. Next, uh, what we can see, leaders of that time, you can see Stalin, of course, he managed the uh, Soviet Union 
in the 13th and we can see the picture you can see this lady this is um, Betty she was the director of this park and she wanted when she started to establish this park uh, she and uh, the management all they wanted to create something uh, totally different than in Europe and something new for Russian people in, uh, during Soviet Union time. So also what kind of activities uh, we had in this park, as I said, do you remember culture and leisure? What kind of culture uh, you can uh, do here? So this is, uh, maybe you know it, it's Puanti. Puant, it's a special shoes for ballerines like uh, so this is for example your foot and ballerines they're dancing like this very hard oh my god i don't know how they do it so you can saw ballet theater and uh, look at these pictures how it looked and uh, that time and it's called the green theater so people very nice idea so you can uh, watch any like, ballet or, or any theater outside Yes. And uh, also in this park, it was Island of Dance, very nice, uh, the dancing was very popular here and you can see examples, pictures of dancing and uh, very interesting uh, that also here you can see it was theatre when people were dancing on the um, river, amazing, yes, so you can see this is the scene, scene, scene. so you can see it here and in front of you uh, you can see the theatre, really amazing. And of course we can't miss the part about architecture. So if you like architecture, you will be, enjoy it. So here you will see the original uh, copy of the scheme uh, of the park in a 1935 year here uh, what we can see of course the monument of maxim gorky remember russian boy and uh, here you can see it's a picture by hand yes it's uh, originally just person was doing it by hand and um, pencil so let's see and uh, here it's original uh, notebook and it's 1956 and uh, you can see everything like a scam how it will look the park how it will look uh, every lamps all decorations here yeah so very interesting and uh, this one leninsky gore now we have the name uh, varabiovy gore or uh, in english sparrow hills so let's explore gorky park together uh, what you can do here this is the main gate today i will show you how park looks in our winter time of course if you come here in another seasons it will look so totally different so today tour in a snow uh, gorky park you can see it's very snowy so how you can explore the park you just uh, go straight and uh, what you will see i will show you around in winter time uh, from december till i guess march it's working here ice rink so it's some preparation you can see it's not ready now but soon and I, of course i will do vlog about ice rink so you can see preparation for ice rink so i really like skating and i will show you how i do it so if you turn to the left you will see small pounds and nice restaurant and behind of me uh, the museum the museum short history of gorky park so let's turn to the left if you turn to the right you will reach the moscow river embankment so up to you what do you want so i want to show you that also in winter time you can enjoy the park it's very calm place now because in summer in spring there are a lot of a lot of activities a lot of people park is very active it's also good and now also good every season uh, has uh, benefits that's why i actually have no answer for you when you ask me what is the best season to visit russia because every season has pluses and minuses every season special so my answer is every season is good so look at this beautiful atmosphere guys so this is small pond you can see a lot of a lot of snow and you can see this is area of park now it's not cold it's minus three degree for us russian it's not cold 
When it's minus 10, yes, it's a bit cold. I like this restaurant, Jarovnia. So if you're tired, you can uh, drink tea and eat something, very nice food. And this is a little bit small pond. And um, this area soon will be also a small ice rink. You can see ice is coming, very nice. And guys, if you go straight, you will reach the Museum of Modern Art. So this is the idea of park, right? So here you can uh, do some sport activities like uh, playing uh, football, playing uh, basketball, uh, a lot of a lot of other sports. You, you can do yoga, dancing, uh, a lot of a lot of activities. I think all activities uh, which I know you can uh, find here. Also, you can develop your soul, your brain by visiting museums. There are also different kind of museums, like uh, we visited uh, history of Gorky Park, this modern arts, also always some uh, new exhibitions you can see here. And guys, you can see it's preparation, so you will be very surprised when it will be finished. All this park, not 100% of this, but most of park will be with ice. You can see it's right in, soon will be ice rink. All this territory will be with ice. So guys, you can see this beautiful architecture. Just uh, we call it this architecture Besetka. Besetka means place for talking. So here people just stay, talk, also it's some dancing place. In summertime, you can see people who is dancing, or maybe they can play chess here, something like this. Very beautiful, so we can see very really beautiful. Also, here you can see street food. Some standard guys, street food, coffee, tea, hot dogs. I don't eat it, and uh, you know, I don't recommend you eat because I follow to healthy food. But if you want, why not, welcome if you're hungry, if you like hot dog. So guys, everyone is showing final results. I show you reconstruction, so how preparation looks like. You can see behind of me a line of restaurants with different kind of street food. Uh, and maybe here you can find something nice, maybe not only hot dogs. Also a lot of, a lot of restaurants here. I guess it's some Thai restaurant bo. Anyway, in cold time it's better, I think, to eat inside, not outside. Oh, very nice. This is Russian samovar. Interesting. Can we? This is the old style how to cook tea. You can see it's writing samovar. China. Very hot. Samovar means he is making tea by itself. So, and uh, the taste of the tea totally different than we do it now with electronic uh, chainik. <laughs> yes, so totally different because they use um, fire here uh, and uh, the smell is like, uh, how, I, I, I know, how can you explain the smell of this? What is the smell? Uh, I, I can't uh, accurately tell, but uh, it is very good smell. I can tell you about it. I can't explain. Very fr fresh and uh, some forest, uh, forest and fire, uh, very nice. So like, guys, very nice what we can see, this is a Moscow uh, church, Russian church, Orthodox. Hram Christa Spasitele, it's in Russian, the main and the biggest one uh, Orthodox church. Oh, I know, so please, this car. You can see. Also, do you remember I showed this car in Saritsina vlog? Also, it happens in uh, Gorky Park. But I'm not sure it's good to use it in uh, winter time because in winter it's cold. In winter it's better to walk because when you sit, uh, not good. But if you come here in summer, take uh, this electric car and you can explore the park because guys park is very very big this is special road for bicycles now of course it's uh, winter no one do it but in um, warm time this is special line so it means that you can feel safety when you do any bicycle any rollers skating and so on because not in uh, every city not in every country you can find it in moscow we have 
I will not say about other Russian cities, I didn't check, but in Moscow it's very good. So there are not allowed to drive a car. All car which you can see here, it's a staff car. I mean, people who is cleaning snow, so you can't drive. So that's why it's safety. You, it's safety if you just walk and it's safety if you want bicycle or to use some electro scooter very very good point of this park and it's really very very long i guess maybe 10 kilometers maybe more i didn't check but very long uh, way we can see here peter's the great the very nice location uh, orthodox uh, church Peter's the Great. Oh, you can see people run. And I'll show how, how these guys are running. Oh my God, it's crazy. And do you want running? Yes. Da. Oh. I also like to run, but not in winter. It's too much cold. But of course, if you do it every day, uh, it's not a problem. It's a problem if you do it first time, of course. But if your body is prepared. So let's go to museum. So uh, you can see here, uh, it's a map of park. We are here, so you can see uh, this is the main entrance. Uh, we started vlog from this place. As I uh, told you, from left side, you can see the museum history of Gorky Park. Then I turn to the left, show you the smaller pound, Pionierski pound, Pionierski prut. And uh, then we turn to the right and uh, we uh, walked uh, a little bit through the embankment uh, we call it pushkinskaya embankment do you remember who is pushkin i, I hope yes famous russian poet pushkinskaya embankment we saw the um, uh, boats reticent boats and you and i uh, covered just this kind of park you can see how park is big Right. This is the main fountain. We can't see it now because it's winter and it will be ice rink. But in summer it's very beautiful and amazing fountain. A musician, colorful, amazing. You can see what kind of activities we have. You can see restaurants. There are 20 restaurants. Historical places. 10 historical places. Very nice, right? Uh, then. Uh, Walking with kids, seven locations only in this park for kids, some activities and so on. Active sport, five locations. No means like, uh, and also it's writing in English and it's Russian, like beach soccer, beach volleyball, badminton, basketball, tennis, skate park, a lot of, a lot of other things. Excursions here and uh, other and um, dancing place very very and then you can see galitsinski pound also awesome place now it's winter we can see it uh, full but in a warm time here you can take a boat and uh, drive the boat by yourself and there are very nice restaurants on the uh, pound so you can eat food enjoy the pound amazing and then uh, Andreevsky Bridge and then you can uh, uh, which I showed you bridge and c go to the other places and then a small one you can see this is a map of Gorky Park do you remember I told you that Gorky Park not only this location uh, it's also included Niskuchny Garden Niskuchny Sad and then Varabyov Gore Sparrow Hills next uh, side and in front of this, we go now to Museum. Let's go! So guys, second part of our vlog. I will show you a little bit Museum. You can see, it's just in front of the main gate of Gorky Park. And uh, Museum is also part of the Gorky Park. So I highly recommend you visit not only this part of Gorky Park, also visit Museum. What you can see here, so this is we start sculptures so very interesting and it's open every day also in winter museum of arts 
And here, guys, a Tretikov gallery, but it's not um, the Tretikov gallery as you know. You know, we have Tretikov gallery. It's the main when you can see all the arts, Russian um, arts, but here modern arts and uh, inside. And today we will sh I will show you the sculptures. So let's go inside to the park. So we are inside the park. Uh, you can see beautiful Alea. And you can just walk and uh, enjoy the sculptures uh, from the left side, right side. And uh, if you want to see modern arts, you can go inside to new Tritikov gallery or go like we are going through this park. No. Anu enjoy a lot, yes? Yeah. And guys, you know, for Anu, it's Anu, he's from India and it's his first time uh, when he stay with snow, right? Yes. And very interesting <laughs> that uh, you, you can believe that Anu, he's from India and he doesn't feel cold, but I'm Russian and I feel cold. I always feel cold. Yeah, also I have varishki, it's warm gloves, but warm jacket you can see my jacket is very long but i still feel cold so i will i will cover a little bit and then i need to go inside <laughs> why this park is good that you can compare uh staying outside uh, getting fresh and uh, enjoy the arts because normally most of museums they're inside the building and you miss the fresh air right but here you can uh, get fresh air and develop your brain by watching some arts so you can see different kind of sculptures so for example this one adam and Eve. adam and Eve, it's a biblia uh, Christian uh, religion, Adam and Eva, and other, other, other sculptures. Very nice. So I suggest you take your time and uh, watch to every sculpture. Uh, let's see what we have. Really interesting. The Victor. And uh, very good that it's all here writing uh, Russian, Russian and English. So don't worry if you don't know some history you can always see the victor so uh, this one guys new you can see 2005 so this is new uh, sculptures and uh, peter the great again uh, the monument of peter the great you know peter the great it, he was the russian um, tsar if you watch my previous uh, vlogs so let's go there you know that uh, russian tsar uh, tsar means king and uh, Peter the Great, or in Russian language, Peter I, he was one of the uh, Russian Tsar. And he is the person who created Peter the Great, St. Petersburg. St. Petersburg, he created it in 17 and 3 year. And uh, on this monument, he's staying on the board and it's symbol of sailor uh, troops. See, well, so the Peter the Great, he organized uh, sailor troops, very big uh, sailor troops in Russia. Uh, let's see this one. So guys, this part of park, this is old one, all the sculptures. So we can see. Oh, this is a wall. I think it's, you uh, can see this is uh, the stones, if you look clear you can see the faces and I'll show the faces dramatically sculpture so guys park is very big <laughs> also I suggest you walk uh, around maybe it takes um, two hours to cover this park also if you come in summer <laughs> it will be different of course and guys so thank you for watching this vlog if uh, you like it don't forget put like share with your friends and see you in the next uh, vlogs thank you for listening bye for now пока пока from russia